Do you see your feet? Okay. Mm -hmm. And as you look at those feet, are you wearing anything on those feet? No. no. So you're barefoot. Mm -hmm. And as you look down around your feet, I want you to sense the ground that you're on. And tell me, what do you imagine that you're standing on there? Fine stone, a bit like a terrain. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. So are you inside or outside there? I'm outside. You're outside. Uh -huh. And is it day or is it night? It's day. It's daytime. Mm -hmm. And I want you to see your hands now. Look at your hands and put your hand on your head and look at your clothes and tell me if you could describe to me what you're wearing. So what I want you to do now is I want you to put your hands to your heart. Just feel yourself connecting with your heart centre now. And as you connect with that body that you're in, it'll be the first impression. Do you feel that you're male or female? You're male. Mm -hmm. And I want you to connect with your age and you'll see some numbers come to mind. How old do you feel there? 32. You're 32. Mm -hmm. And at 32, you'll know your name. What's the first name that comes to mind there? Brilliant. What's your name? William. William. William, thank you for coming to share this memory of yours, your, your story with us today. We're honoured. William, I want you to look around this terrain and tell me, do you sense that you're alone or do you sense that there are others around you? You're alone. Mm -hmm. And as you look at this terrain, I want you to connect with the land and tell me, what country do you feel that you're in? What's the first country that comes to mind? India. You're in India. Mm -hmm. And now I want you to connect with the year that you lived in India. And just see some numbers in your mind and tell me, what year is it there, William? Seventeen ninety three. So William, what are you doing there in seventeen ninety three on this terrain? Just wandering. You're wandering? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Sorts of like uh, like mountainous area. It's a mountainous area. Mm-hmm. And as you're wandering around this area, I want you to connect with your emotions and tell me, how do you feel at this very moment, William? Are you happy? Are you sad? Are you angry? What's your emotion? You're happy. Uh -huh. And now, William, what I want you to do is I want you to connect to tell me if you have any family in that life around you. 
You don't have any family? No. Mm -hmm. So what is it that you're doing on this terrain then, William? You say you're wandering around. Are you going to somewhere or have you come from somewhere? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what I want you to do is I want you to follow your steps now and f sense that you're floating and drifting forward, forward to where it is that you're wandering to and as that scene unfolds Describe to me, where is it that you're walking to? It's like a village. A village? Mm hmm Well, just see yourself in that village now. Is this your village or is it another village? It's not my village. Mm-hmm. So see yourself in that village now and I want you to connect... And if you knew, I want you to describe that village to me. What does it look like? Lots of houses, like buildings, like shacks. Shacks? Wooden. Wooden shacks. Uh -huh. And now that you've entered this village, look around and see if there is anybody that you can connect with to see why you're in that village. And tell me, are they male or female? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what I want you to do is I want you to feel yourself floating towards those people there. And tell me, are they friendly or are they foe? Uh, intrigued. Mm -hmm. They're intrigued that you've entered their village. Things that you've put together? Like herbs and stuff. Oh, right. Mm -hmm. And do you offer them to the village? Mm -hmm. Very good. Like medicines. So you're a medicine man. Mm -hmm. So I'd like you now to connect with someone in that village. And tell me, do you stay here to work for a little while with this village? Tell me the kind of things that you do in that village then, William. Well, I help anyone that's sick. You help anyone that's sick? Mm-hmm. Give them herbs. Very good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, as you're in that village, I want you to glance around at all the people in that village. And as you're focusing your attention on the village people, is there any particular person there that you're more affiliated to than the rest? Just focus your mind. Who is it that you connect with? Is it male or female? It's female. It's a female. Uh -huh. Draw yourself towards that female now, William. Mm -hmm. Describe her to me. It's a bit weird because she's, uh, I can't see her very clearly. 
her. You can sense her, you don't have to see her. Uh huh. Well, I want you to get even closer to this lady, and I want you to look into her eyes because the eyes are the windows to the soul. What colour are her eyes, there, William? Mm hmm. And as you connect with those eyes, you connect with her soul spiritually, mind to mind, and soul to soul. Does that soul remind you of anybody today? It'll just be the first impression that comes to mind. She's your mum. Very good. Mm -hmm. So now we've got that information, William. I want us to go further on your journey. So I want you to close that scene. Just close that scene as if you were flicking the pages of a book and just feel yourself drifting and floating forward. Closing that scene now. I'm going to count from three to one and when I get to one, you're going to be in the same lifetime but at a significant time when something else is happening to you, well, you may just jump to another life altogether. So I'm going to count from three to one. So when you're ready, three. Keep drifting and floating forward, looking for that significant time in that life. Two and one. Be there now. William, how old are you now? You're 42. Mm -hmm. Tell me, William, are you still in the same village? Mm -hmm. Describe to me your landscape now. Where are you? By a river. You're by a river. Mm -hmm. And tell me more about this place. Are you alone? Mm -hmm. So what's significant about this place then? It's um, like uh, I can see it's a place where they uh, send the, the, the people that sort of passed away it's a place where people pass away? Like where when they like passed away and they send them off onto the river. Or where they pass away and they send them off onto the river? Yeah, like... Mm -hmm. So there's a gathering at the moment? I just know that's what they do there. Mm -hmm. I'm just aware that's the place. You're aware that's the place where they do it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what's the purpose of you being there at this time, watching this happening and unfolding? Are you just watching the scene or are you helping? Just watching the scene. You're just watching. Mm -hmm. There's no significance to it. Mm -hmm. So now let's close that scene and move forward now. So feel yourself closing that scene now, drifting forward to another time that's significant in that lifetime. To a place where people are around you and you can describe what is happening. 
So when you're ready, three, drifting and floating forward now. Two and one. Be there now. Do you sense that you're inside or outside, William? You're inside. Mm -hmm. This place that you're inside, describe it to me. Mm -hmm. A 1900 style house. Mm -hmm. You're working in there? You're part of the staff. Mm -hmm. So is this a different life from before? Have you moved to a different life? Mm -hmm. I want you to connect with your feelings and tell me how you feel about working as part of the staff there. Is it a good job? It's not too bad. It's not too bad. I want you to see yourself working now. Just bring that forward and see yourself working, doing the tasks that you do on a daily basis. And describe to me, what is it that you do there? So, fix things. Work with wood. You fix things and you work with wood. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This house that you're in, are there others that work in that house with you? Mm -hmm. So I want you to, I want you to see 